Unit 7 Now in this video we're gonna start with the vocab book and then we're gonna explain Unit 7 part 1 1. Alarming Causing anxiety or fear Fact Truth Throw away What sound between W and A Throw away Made to be destroyed after use. Trash, rubbish, diapers, nappies. Tire, tire, wheel. This one, okay, this word, it has British word and American word. Tire and tire, one with I, another one with Y. Concern, concern, to be important to someone or to involve to concern this is the verb with the noun concern O as a sound to be important to someone or to involve two words of exercise number two displaced forced doubt shelters Free hotels, shelters, free hotels, often run by the city for homeless people. So shelters, we can say free hotels for homeless people. Shelters, free hotels for homeless people, reduced in amount. An election campaign, G silent. Fumes, heavy traffic, heavy to a great degree. Overbuilding, overbuilding, due to, due to, because of, because of, due to, because of. Conserve, to keep and protect something from damage, to keep, to keep something from damage. Change your waste. So conserve, to keep, or I can say to protect from damage. 3. Dependence. Opposite independence. Dependence independence. Depend on. Count on. Depend on. Count on somebody. Livestock. Cattle. Cattle. T soft D. We say T L E becomes in American soft D L E like little little livestock cattle cattle contaminate contaminate contaminated contaminated this is the past pollute polluted polluted a hole in the ozone layer a hole in the z not z z the ozone the ozone layer a hole in the ozone layer wildlife nature Suburb. Suburbs our skirts. A suburb an outer skirt. So here suburb our skirt. Huge. Very big. Very big. Tremendous. Huge. Very big. Tremendous. Five. Words of exercise number five. Landfills. Getting rid of rubbish by burying. So landfills. Getting rid of rubbish by burying. Ultraviolet rays. Rays beams. Carpool. A group of people who travel together in different members car each day. Carpool. A group of people who travel together in different members car each day. Supplies, supplies, food or other items necessary for living, food or other items necessary for living, chemicals, bacteria. Six words of exercise number six. Drug trafficking, drug trafficking, illegal trade, famine, starvation, starvation, global warming, inflation. Inflation. 
a general continuous increase in prices. Inflation, a general continuous increase in prices. Overpopulation, population explosion. Overpopulation, population explosion. Within American, we make the O as a sound. Overpopulation, pop population explosion. Political unrest, disagreements. Political unrest, disagreements. So, political unrest, disagreements. Awareness, awareness. Having knowledge or experience of a particular thing. Awareness, having knowledge or experience of a particular thing. Spread. Now, let's get started with the book. Unit 7. The world we live in. Exercise 1. Snapshot. Waste not, want not. Some alarming facts, Americans. Now look at the picture here and tell me what do you see. You see here a lot of garbage, crashes. So this is what this is a landfill. A landfill. It's a place. It's a place to collect garbage and trashes and these things. So here. We have some alarming facts, alarming, disturbing facts. American make 750,000 photocopies every minute. So the Americans make 750,000 photocopies every minute. Every minute there are about 750,000 photocopies. Through a way 2.5 million plastic bottles every hour. So every hour the American people threw away 2.5 million plastic bottles. Get rid of, get rid of, they threw. Get rid of 30,000 cars every day. Get rid of 30,000 cars every day. Dispose of 49 million baby diapers every day. So every day the American people dispose of, they throw away, after they use, 49 million baby diapers. Baby diapers such as candles and these things. Americans receive 4 million tons of junk mail every year. And every year they have 4 million tons of junk mail. Americans use 65 billion aluminum cans every year. And every year the Americans use 65 billion, not million, billion, billion aluminum cans. You know cans, cans for, for drinking soda. Soda cans like Pepsi, Cola, 7-Up. Americans threw out 270 million tires every year. Tires. This is of course the frame of, of the car's wheels. This is a wheel and for every wheel we have tires. The rubber around the wheel. So, which of the things above seem the most wasteful? This is for you. Any student can choose an answer of course. But I think the most wasteful one for me, Americans threw out 270 million tires every year. And also another wasteful, shocking thing for me is that they use 65 billion, billion aluminum cans every year. Billion, billion, not million, billion. 1,000 million is a very big number. 65,000 billion aluminum cans. Now what do you throw away and what do you tend to recycle? What are the things we threw away? Well, I threw of course plastic bottles 
and of course aluminum cans yeah what do you tend to recycle I tend to recycle aluminum cans and plastic bottles what are two other environmental problems that concern you what are two other environmental problems that you care about that you pay attention to so tell your friends in the class what other do you pay attention to about the environment Page 44, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Clean up our city. Part A. Listen to an announcement from an election campaign. What kinds of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? Vote for Roberta Chang, City Council. Roberta Chang will clean up Cradville. Have you noticed these problems in our city? The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters because of overcrowding. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Our fresh water supply is being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve a vote for Roberta Chang is a vote for solutions. Exercise 2. Perspectives. Clean up our city. Now here, we have an announcement from an election campaign. What do you see? This is an election campaign. What kind of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? What are the problems that she want to solve? Vote for Roberta Chang City Council. Roberta Chang will clean up Carvel. This is the name of the city. So what is the name of the city? Carvel. Have you ever noticed these problems in our city? The air is being polluted by fumes, by fumes from cars and trucks. Trucks. This means like such as lorries. Potholes aren't being repaired due to lake of funding. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters because of overcrowding. Homeless people who can't find a home or house. They live in the street. They have been displaced. They don't have a place in city shelters. Why? Because of overcrowding. The city becomes too crowded. It has a lot of buildings and there isn't a shelter for homeless people. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. Parks, big gardens, parks for public. Gardens, big gardens for having fun for people have been lost, have been destroyed because of overbuilding. Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic because of heavy traffic. Because the roads are too crowded. So, the city streets are being damaged. What about the fresh water? Our fresh water supply is being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve, people who don't care, people who don't protect the water. They don't care about the fresh water supply. So if you make a vote for Roberta, this is a vote for solutions. So Roberta had, Roberta had a lot of solutions for all of these problems. This is of course a campaign and this is an election campaign. Which of these problems affects your city? Can you give specific examples? What are the problems that affect Cairo? Well, we have a lot of problems such as the problem of homeless people. Also, the air, the air is being polluted. Many parts have been lost through overbuilding. Yeah. Our fresh water supply is being depleted 
especially the Nile. Exercise number three, grammar focus. Page 45, exercise three, grammar focus. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. Present perfect passive. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. So in this exercise, this is passive with prepositions. And of course, passive, yes, active and passive. And we use the same in passive. We'll start with the object. We have object and then verb to be plus PP by and then the doer of the action, which is, of course, the subject. So in the passive, we have most of time, object, verb to be, verb to be in the tense of the sentence plus PP, past participle, by, and after by, we put the doer of the action, the subject. So, here, we have prepositions. I can remove by and put as a result of, due to, through, because of. So, I can replace by, remove by, and put, and put different prepositions. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to due to a lack of funding. Funding to have money. This is of course the present continuous. And note the present continuous M is R verb plus ing in active but in passive and it's verb to be this is M is R, so here we have it and R, plus the verb B plus ING. So, is R being plus past participle. And we'll start, of course, with the object. So, object is R being past participle by, and then we'll put at the end the subject. We can remove the subject and put as a result of, or due to, through, because of. The present perfect passive. The present perfect, you know, in active, present perfect, has, have, plus, past, participle. The present perfect passive, object, plus, has, have, been, plus, pp. This is been, British, been, American, been, plus, past, participle. And then, we write here, by, and the subject. I can remove by and write through, because of, as a result of, yeah. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. Now, let's get this wonderful presentation for Mr. Kyle Ralphson. So, let's look at the two that we're focusing on today, and that's the present continuous form of the passive voice and the present perfect form of the passive voice. So again, if I say the beaches are being polluted, that's an action that's occurring now. So if I look at the beach now, I can see people polluting, that this is a problem that's happening right now. And that's why I'm using the present continuous. The beaches are being polluted. Now if I use the present perfect, it's a little bit different. The same idea, but a little bit different. So I say, the, peach, the beaches have been polluted. And what that means is that it's an action that occurred sometime recently, right? Maybe it's still happening, but the idea is that it happened and the beaches now are already polluted. So that happened at some point in time in the past. I don't know when, it's just generally sometime it happens. So the beaches have been polluted, right? So present perfect is for something that already happened, and the present continuous is for something that's happening now. Good. 
Okay, so I wanted to look at all of our different um, sample sentences that we had at the beginning. The first one was, the beaches are being polluted by people. Notice my receiver, the beaches, and my doer, people, right? That's the passive voice. The receiver is first and the doer is second. My action is in the present continuous. The beaches are being polluted by people right now. Here's the next one that we had. Many trees are being planted by environmental organizations. Again, many trees is my receiver. Recycling programs have been started by small communities. Again, the receiver is the recycling program. The air is being polluted by fumes from too many cars. Okay? Again, the air is my receiver. Here's another one. 25% of the land is being protected by national parks. Again, 25% of the land is my receiver. Here's one. Dirty water from cities is being dumped into the rivers and oceans. Okay, so notice I have my receiver, and that's the dirty water from cities. But notice I don't have a doer. Now, that's because maybe I don't want to talk about the doer, or I don't know who the doer is, or maybe the doer isn't important. But for any reason, I don't need to use the doer, like this example. Here's another example like that. Windmill farms have been built to produce clean energy. Again, I'm not using the doer. It's not important who built the wind farms, or maybe I don't know, or maybe it's just not important, so I decide I don't need to talk about that. So these are all forms of the passive voice in the present continuous and also in the past perfect. Sorry, the present perfect. Okay, so last we need to look at are the prepositions for the passive voice. Right, so if we remember this example, it said that recycling programs have been started by small communities, right? So by is the preposition, and the preposition explains what or who is doing the action. So it tells me that this action is done by the small communities, right? But I have different prepositions I can use, and I can say things like this. The air is being polluted because of, or as a result of, or through, or due to fumes from too many cars, right? So again, these prepositions explain who is doing this action. Now, these are special right these are special and they're used the same way that by is used but these are ex different because the action is consequential of the doer so what does that mean well think of it this way so the recycling programs have been started by small communities right but this action is not a consequence of the small communities no, the recycling programs are not a consequence of small communities. No, because the small communities decide to make these programs. However, down here, if I think if I think the air is being polluted, right? I can think, okay, well that is a consequence of the fumes from too many cars. And if I think this is a consequence of the doer, then I can use these types of prepositions. I can also use by if I want to, but I can use these ones as well. So one special thing to think about is with due to, that due to is only for negative ideas. So in this context, it's a very negative thing that the air is being polluted. So I can use due to to describe what is polluting the air, right? Okay. So I hope this was helpful in understanding the different types of prepositions that we can use in the passive voice when your action is a consequence of the doer. And I hope you understand a little bit better how we use the passive voice not only in the present perfect but in the present continuous form. All right guys, thanks for listening and good luck. A pair work match the forward of environmental problems with the sentence below. So here we have here six pictures, six photos, and we have here six sentences. So we'd like to match the six sentences here with these six pictures. Okay? 
Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. In urban areas, so we said air pollution. This is picture number, picture number four. This one. So one, two, three, four. So number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. This is picture number four. Sentence number two, livestock. Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. So when I say livestock, that means what? Sheep, cows, cattle, these things. So this is of course picture number one. This is livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Three, acid rain has eroded statues, statues and buildings so this is of course picture number five four oil spells are harming birds fish and other marine life so this is of course picture number six this picture here oil spells are harming birds fish and other marine life five the growth the growth of suburbs suburbs outskirts areas around the main city has eaten up huge amounts of farmland so used due to so number five of course okay this is of course picture number three this is picture number three the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland yeah six the destruction of rainforests is accelerating the extinction of plants and wildlife so this is of course number two this is you see here a lot of trees and the trees are cut the trees are cut are cut by people the destruction of rainforests is accelerating the extinction of plants and wildlife now Bart B Bart B rewrite this sentence in Bart A using the passive and the preposition given the prepositions given then compare with the partner so here in this exercise we're gonna use of course the passive after we match the pictures and then we're gonna put the sentence into passive example number one air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas used by so number one, the health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. So here is threatening, this is what? Present continuous. M is R, verb plus ING. Passive is or are being plus PP, threatened. So we we'll start with the subject. The health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Number two. Livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. So let's get this. So this is of course picture number one. So livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Used because of and instead of by. So let's start with soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farms soil and underground water soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farms number three acid rain has eroded has eroded stages and buildings so this picture, of course, used as a result of. So I'm going to say stitches and buildings have been eroded by, by, as a result of acid rain. By acid rain, as a result of acid rain. Again, the sentence, stitches and buildings have been eroded as a result of acid rain number four and number four 
Oil spills are harming birds, fish, and other marine life. This picture, of course. Oil spills are harming birds, fish, and other marine life. You through. So I'm gonna start this subject. The verb are harming. This is present continuous. Bird, fish, and other marine life. This is the object. So let's make it passive. Birds, fish, and other marine life are being harmed through oil spells. So by oil spells, we say through oil spells. Again, birds, fish, and other marine life are being harmed by, through oil spells. By oil spells, through oil spells. Five, the growth. The growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland. So this is of course picture number two used due to. This is the subject, the growth of suburbs has eaten up. This is the verb. This is of course present perfect. Huge amounts of farmland. This is the object. So let's start with the object. Huge amounts of farmland. Huge amounts of farmland have been eating up due to the growth of suburbs. Again, huge amounts of farmland have have been eating up, eating up, eating up, have been eating up due to the growth, the growth of suburbs. Number six. The destruction of rainforests is accelerating, accelerate to make haste, is accelerating the extinction of plants and wildlife used by. So this is of course, present continuous is plus verb plus ing, and in the passive it's gonna be is being accelerated, is being plus pp. So the extinction of plants and wildlife is being accelerated, is being accelerated by the destruction of rainforests. Again, the extinction of plants and wildlife is being accelerated by the destruction of rainforests. Number C. Now, pair work. Cover the sentences in, in part A above. Take turns describing the environmental problems in the picture in your own words. So here you can describe the problems, every problem in every picture. Six exercise four pronunciation reduction of auxiliary verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. Page 46, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Reduction of Auxiliary Verbs Part A. Listen and Practice Notice how the auxiliary verb forms is, are, has, and have are reduced in conversation. Fresh water is being wasted. Newspapers are being thrown away. Too much trash has been created. Parks have been lost. So this is the reduction of auxiliary verbs. Here, we notice that the auxiliary verbs is, are, has, and have are reduced. We say, when we say reduction, it means shortage, to make it short. Fresh water is being wasted. I make it what? Fresh water is, fresh water is being wasted. Newspaper are, not are, we say, newspaper are being thrown away. Too much trash is, too much trash has been created. So here, this is, above S would be is or has. Parks, parks have, I make it short, 
Park Zev. Park Zev been lost. Of, of. Like I have, I have. So these are some shortages, some reductions, such as is, are, has, and have. Let's get exercise number five. Exercise number five, listening, environmental solutions. So in this exercise, you are going to do what? You're going to choose the problem, what is the problem, and what can be done about the problem? What is the solution? How can we solve the problem? So, let's listen. Page 46, exercise 5, listening. Environmental solutions. Part A. Listen to three people describe some serious environmental problems. Check the problem each person talks about. 1. Jenny. Wait, don't throw that out. Why not? Recycle it. I've been reading a lot about how much trash we produce and what happens to all of it, and it really has me worried. Why? Well, it seems that the easiest way to dispose of trash is by burying it in landfills, land that could be used by farmers to grow food and other things. The problem is that in many countries, the dumping areas have already been filled up, and it's hard to find places to start new ones. Of course, no one wants trash buried in their neighborhood, but it has to go somewhere. So what's the solution? Well, there is no easy solution. However, many cities are trying to do more recycling so that they can reduce the amount of stuff that goes into the landfills. So number one, number one, what is the problem? Landfills. What is the solution? Do more recycling. Do more recycling to decrease the stuff that go to the landfills. What is the name of landfills? Landfills, areas of land where people throw trashes, trash and garbage. They bury trash and garbage in it. Number two, Adam. Is it electricity or e-waste? Ready? Two, Adam. I love my new phone, but I don't know what to do with my old one. It's so outdated. I know I shouldn't just throw it away. Well, you're right about that. Not disposing of electronic devices and other appliances properly is a huge problem these days. Not just here, but all over the world. Many people don't know what to do with their old phones, computers, video game systems, TV sets, refrigerators. There are dangerous chemicals in these products, and they have to be handled in the right way. So, what are we supposed to do? Well, e-waste is not going away. With all the new technology these days, there's more e-waste than ever before. The solution is just to dispose of it responsibly. The good news is that there are more and more e-waste processing centers where professionals take these products and separate them into their various parts. Many of the parts can be reused, of course. E-waste, electronic waste. It means to change your mobiles, your old mobiles, laptops, computers, televisions, with new ones. So this is a very big problem because they contain chemicals. So we should do what? We should put them in e-ways, electronic ways. We should give them to e-centers, electronic centers. They, they use them again as they assimilate them, separate them into parts and reuse them again in the new parts in the new parts of the new appliances and the new electronic sets. So this is the solution. Number three. Three. Katie. You know, you always hear about air pollution, but not many people are aware of the problem of water pollution. You mean in the oceans? No, I mean polluted drinking water. 
It's a problem in almost every major city in the world. Almost all our rivers and lakes, where we get our drinking water from, are being polluted in some way by businesses, farms, homes, industries, and other sources. And even though the water most of us drink is treated, it's still not a hundred percent pure. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complicated problem to solve, but basically what's involved is treating all waste products more carefully so that dangerous chemicals and bacteria don't get into our water supply. Number three, Katie, is it air pollution or water pollution? Water pollution. So the problem, water pollution. So what can be done about it? Of course, treat all waste products more carefully to treat all waste products more carefully because the water is polluted by businesses, industries and a lot of things so we should treat all waste products more carefully Exercise number 6 Word Power Worldly Problems Now number A Per Work how concerned is your partner about these problems? Check through his or her answers. So here, you look at the picture where you see a lot of people and they are walking. We have a lot of balloons. Of course, this is a campaign, a march. They, they protest something. So this is the problem. Are you very concerned? Fairly concerned, rather concerned, or not concerned. Not concerned, you don't care. The problem of cancer. Drug trafficking. Drugs. Like heroin, cocaine, marijuana. Famine. Famine, starvation, no food. Global warming. The increase of, of the Earth's temperature. Government corruption. Inflation. Inflation means the increase of prices. Overpopulation. Overpopulation, this means when you have a lot of people in a small area, in a small piece of land. Political unrest. Disagreement about politics. Poverty. Poverty or poverty when we don't have a lot of money or good enough money to live to buy our needs when we are poor and we, are not, we aren't rich now you ask your friends about these problems are you concerned fairly concerned rather concerned or not concerned do you pay attention or you don't care not concerned now, let's get an example, number B, group work. Share your partner's answers with another pair. Which problems concern your group the most? What will happen if the problem isn't solved? What will happen if this problem doesn't have a solution? A, B, and C. So here we make a conversation between you and your friends about each problem. Many lives, many lives have been lost to due to cancer B we need to find ways to raise money for more research C I agree if we don't the disease will continue to spread I agree if we don't the disease will continue to spread the disease will continue to spread everywhere and a lot of people are gonna die so that's the end of course of Unit 7, Part 1. Now let's give the homework. Number 1, keep the words by heart and their meaning, of course, in English. Number 2, listen and repeat. 3, answer 3 pages of the workbook. Interchange 3 workbook, Unit 7. Number 4, go to www.cambridge.org slash interchange your kids slash. You will have wonderful exercises. شكرا للمشاهدة Hope you like it, share it and subscribe يرجى الاشتراك على القناة الآن Thanks for watching شكرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته